Hello Cancers and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So Cancers, uh, you know, honestly, I, I couldn't decide if I was going to do a moon box reading tonight or a regular reading tonight. So I don't know what's going to happen tonight because I'm, I'm getting a lot of downloads here. So um, <laughs> yeah, you may be too. I, this is um, a, an interesting time here. These two want to stay out. What is this? Hermit. Yeah. Um, I feel like, okay, it's cancer. Let me get through my spiel. This reading is for the collective, so it may or may not resonate with you, okay? Just take what does resonate, toss out the rest. Don't try to force anything into your world, okay? Um, and thank you, my darlings. I love you guys so much. Thank you for just letting me be part of the soul tribe. Thank you for everything that you guys do that helps this channel keep growing. We are reaching so many people. I'm so grateful for all of you guys. Thank you. Um, Cancer, I feel like this is your energy, and I'm really feeling like a major spiritual feeling off of this. The downloads, I'm telling you, hermit energy, um, peaceful meditation, meaningful solitude, uh, shining, it's a shine your light as an example to others. Seek out or become a spiritual mentor, self-discovery. I feel like you guys are just spending a lot of time in solitude right now. You're blocking everybody out. I feel like um, it's, it's to give yourself some peace, settle your mind, and I feel like you guys are about to get a bunch of downloads. I, I'm, I'm not kidding. I'm, I'm getting them. So, yeah, look. Downloads, all right? There's, it says too much going on, too. Um, you know, I just feel like, honestly, I'm, I'm really feeling like this is downloads coming to you. I really do, Cancer. Um, especially during this next full moon, right? The strawberry moon. And that's why you may be feeling like you don't, I mean, it's, I want to say you don't really want to talk to any, you're just not feeling people-y. You're not feeling people-y, Cancer. I feel like you just kind of want to sort of do your own thing isolate yourself a little bit spend some time on your own getting these downloads cutting out the world a little bit some of you could be turning off your phone right or not answering calls or not answering the door or um, i feel like you're just cutting some things out and slowing down your mind so you can receive these downloads coming in that's what i'm seeing here <laughs> i am all right, so what else can you show me for Cancer, Divine? You know, especially with this new full moon. I really feel like messages or something is coming. I also feel like your abilities are going to be revved up. We've gotten that before. So you may notice a big boost in your abilities here, Cancer, whatever they may be. If you're an empath, if you're intuitive... You guys are just going to be totally lit, right? All right, what else can you show me, Divine? It's going to be different for all of you. Pay attention to your dreams, too, at this time. I feel like that this these messages are coming towards you at night. I picked up on that earlier. Um... This could be somebody here. I feel like this is more of a creative idea. Um, than somebody coming towards you, to be honest. Page of Wands here. I feel like this is a new creative idea here. It may make you feel moody at this time. I feel like you guys are manifesting somebody new. That's what I'm feeling like here. A lot of manifesting. A lot of sending your manifestations out, like... This is, this is information coming into you and going out. So I feel like you guys are manifesting here, maybe just um, doing some releasing too at the same time, but you're manifesting new love is really what I'm feeling like here. Yeah, that's manifesting. Yes, yes, you guys are manifesting new love and new ideas here. New passion, like a new romantic, passionate love. Meditating with the magician, yeah. 
You guys are manifesting. That's awesome. Good, Cancer. Good. And this is what you're doing in this hermit energy, okay? Blocking everybody else out. Um, you may be taking some time um, for yourself, you know, when you're when you won't be interrupted. I feel like you don't want to be interrupted while you're getting these downloads, having your dreams, coming up with these new ideas, and really working hard at manifesting a new future and a new love here. So, a, a love that's going to stick around. Um, yeah, you're utilizing every tool that you've learned on this journey. This is really good energy, Cancer. I've got to say, I feel also like somebody is coming towards you, Cancer. Um, this is a page of pentacles here. This person, this is like beginning stage communication. You may hear something from somebody. I feel like this is someone you've got your boundaries up with, somebody you haven't been talking to. This is your soulmate in separation. I feel like you're, yeah, you're moving forward here. You're having a victory. You're not paying attention to this person. It's like they come to you from the side and you just, like, you don't pay attention to them. You get in your car, you leave. Some of you may not even answer your phone. Like, if this person texts you or calls you, you may not even answer your phone. Especially maybe not not in the next couple of days at least i feel like you're really going to be shutting people out i gotta say that's the feeling i'm getting is that you're on shutdown mode for yourself um i feel like you can feel it too this is a this i want to say the strawberry moon the strawberry moon is um uh, an important manifestation time for you and you're shutting people out here um, if somebody could, yeah, look, leaving them out in the cold, not knowing what the crap to do. There's somebody here that's trying to approach you, Cancer, and you're not talking to them. Because you are in hermit mode now. You, It's almost like they think you're being cold as ice. But really what you're doing is just focusing on what you want in your future. You've got this, this big, it's almost like a window. It feels like a window of energy here that you can pull on to manifest the person that you want um, or the love that you want. Let's just say that. The kind of love you want or, or a new passionate beginning with somebody or with something. It could, it could be anything. Anything you're passionate about. You are slowing your mind down. And you're really, really meditating on this stuff. Okay? Yeah. I feel like, and you know this person. You know this person coming forward here that's going to reach out and send you a message. This is the one that um, you know it is that they want you. You know it is that they, you know it's you that they want. Sorry, it's retrograde too, guys. You know it's you that they want, but they needed to choose between you and someone else or it could be anything but I'm seeing them being stuck actually with somebody else and they waited way too long this is the person that is coming to um, say something to you um, see if you'll even talk to them because you've said nothing to this person you've been absolutely silent yeah this person is in love with you they're really burdened they can't take it anymore they're getting ready to drop these burdens cancer this person is in love with you you think they're not but I feel like they are they don't know what to do they don't know what to do because you're not talking to them you're you're out look yeah all of this is true you're you're going after something new here that that wand right there that's a new idea that's something that you're going to be passionate about. That's what you're going after is something new. Truth. Ace of Swords. I feel like you're very intuitive here, okay? Extremely tapped in. And this is somebody who, like, left you sitting here only being able to use your intuition because nobody came to set you free from, like, this this kind of energy right the stagnancy the not knowing what's going on 
nobody gave you any clarity so you got your own and I feel like the divine um, has given you all the clarity you need to go and have this passionate new beginning that's what you're manifesting here you've got like a one-track mind here cancer it's almost like they they text you or they send you some kind of message waiting to hear back from you waiting to hear back from you cuz they're in love but your one-track mind is just it's going straight for for your future and everything that you want in your future this is just manifesting not wanting to be around anyone quieting your mind so you can manifest your future okay that's what this is that's what this is and someone's either knocking on your door sending you a text calling you something like that and i feel like you're just on shutdown mode you don't look i, I feel like cancer you're j you just don't want to be people-y right now <laughs> You don't. You want to be in hermit mode. You don't want to hear about uh, from. I feel like you don't want to hear it right now. You're you're too busy focusing, really, really focusing. Like you're literally using all your energy to think of the great things you, that are coming towards you, right? All right. What else can you show me? But this person here, I'm telling you, they're in love with you. You could be dealing with um, a cancer, any water sign, um, an earth sign, any fire sign, any air sign. Uh, yeah, that's kind of like everybody, but um, it could be anybody. This person's coming in to talk. They're coming in to talk. Yeah, I feel like um, I feel like this this individual's done a lot of thinking here too cancer and they've come to the realization that the way they treated you in the past was not freaking cool they're seeing this now from a whole new perspective now that you're not talking to this person cutting them out turning your phone off not answering your door whatever it is um, they're seeing this from a new perspective they're realizing the things that they said to you before hurt you and they didn't have to be like that they were mean they were harsh they were cold and cruel they were um, a liar deceived you had in and out energy and took from you whatever they could they took whatever they could get and they tried to get away with it they manipulated you this was this was manipulation that in and out energy the things that they said at the end they're realizing all of this now because you've cut this person out you're not giving anybody your energy I feel at least for the next couple of days at least two days that's what I'm feeling like here you're just on shutdown mode so that you can dream up your new future and, and you're like a big mystery to this person because you're not talking because they don't understand maybe why you're on shutdown mode, why you're going into hermit energy. Um, they don't know anything about what's going on with you right now. And they don't understand, I think, that it's a spiritual journey, you know? You could be de dealing with the Pisces, a Virgo. Yeah, they're realizing that it took them way too long to come towards you. Now it's almost like you're such a mystery. You're, you're keeping your moves hidden. You're not talking to anybody. It's almost like you dropped off the face of the earth, but you haven't. You're actually creating a new world for yourself, okay? Um, but yeah, this person has no idea um, that like what all is going on with you. You're an absolute mystery for this person because it took them so long to get back to you. It's almost like they don't even know you anymore. They're realizing that too. How they got themselves stuck in this stuck position, right? All of the things that they did to you is what made them get stuck here. Everything that they did to you, everything. And maybe that's why this, this person reaches out to you and you just turn your phone off. Um, or you've already got them blocked or you're not talking to anybody or I mean look you're not talking not talking not talking 
okay, not talking, high priestess, and moving forward with the chariot. I mean, you're in a you're in a very spiritual mood. I don't know how else to describe it. You're high vibing, but look at all the blue. Okay, look at all the blue, and that tells me that that's a spiritual mind right there. In the next couple of days, um, you're only going to be really wanting to dream. You're just going to be wanting to dream about the things that you want. Maybe you're going to be doing some kind of research. Um, I don't know, but you're totally focused on you. And, and I feel like for a lot of you, you're just sort of blocking out the world for a couple of days so you can do this. Some of you may be spending some time around the water. You do know that the water will kind of amplify your manifestations, okay? So... Um, yeah, I see you maybe trying to manifest new love or like at the beach or a pool or in the bathtub, you know, so there's water, water, water behind you here. Yeah, and there's something very cleansing about it, Cancer, because it is your element, you know, so maybe take to the water a little bit. It might help clear your mind. But yeah, this person from your past, uh, they know how bad they screwed up now. You not talking to them is giving them a chance to um, hang out by themselves, right? So that they can realize a lot of this crap. And I feel like they've gotten a lot of clarity on this now. But is it too late? Did they wait too long? Okay. Because now it's like they don't know you now. You know what I mean? They don't know you now. They're going to have to, if they do reach out to you and you do accept communication, they're going to have to get to know you, it seems, all over again. All right. Yeah, because the Queen of Cups. Look, and this person's heartbroken. The, look, you're the Queen of Cups energy here, but you've got a cap on that love. All right? You're protecting it. The, once again, this is you protecting your love, focused on you for at least the next couple of days. Right? Two of Swords, Two of Swords. You're Two of swords people out for a couple of days so you can freaking think and and start enthusiastically planning your future there's nothing wrong with that cancer nothing at all you take your time because I'll tell you what this person took their freaking sweet time you know they do want to get you to calmer waters here cancer this person's heartbroken but it's it's the end they know it's the end of a cycle they know that that opportunity that this is like a mechanism a door that doorway of opportunity is closing on them. They realize that being a master manifester here, Cancer, you are on top of the wheel right now, about to turn the page and start a whole new cycle. And this person, they, they can't stop thinking about this. They can't, they feel horrible for how they treated you. They, they totally see the error of their ways, okay? They see all the things that they did wrong, putting you in a third-party situation, causing you heartache, taking too long to come forward, manipulating you, being harsh and cruel with their communication, in and out energy, lies, deceit, taking from you, and playing you like a freaking fiddle. This person was a player, and they are so regretful now. Because their window of opportunity to reach you is pretty much closed. At least it's closed off for the next couple of days, at least. And th this is making this person um, have a lot of anxiety. See, what they're looking at, what they're crying about is the, the patterns on their own really fugly bedspread. These are the patterns of their own behavior that they're staring at. You know, it's a really ugly bedspread, too. I would cry, too. So, you know, they either change their bedding or they do something about their bad behavior, okay? But this person cannot sleep at night. 
the the thoughts of how they treated you and everything that they did see it's all coming back to them now cancer you're not talking to them you've pulled your energy back they don't they can't feel your energy they can't find you they can't talk to you they can't get to you okay so i mean that leaves them alone in their mind to figure this out and now they're seeing it okay let's review this one sword here is the sword they stuck in your back and betrayed you with the third party the next one is how they made you cry night after night because of it this third one here is the player activity the in and out energy just to use you um, maybe even have passion with you and then leave again like leaving you feeling broken hearted um, the next sword here is this the things that they said about you the things that they said to you that hurt you and they didn't care it came in fast they said it without thinking and they regret that too and then we've got all the tools that they used at their disposal here to try to manipulate what there's the cup the pentacle the sword and the wand one two three four and then, of course, let's not talk about the lies, deceit, betrayal, in and out energy. There's your nine of swords right there. That's everything that they're thinking. That's everything we've talked about here, how they treated you, Cancer. This is keeping them up at night. They, they're, they're full on regretting the way that they treated you, and they're doing nothing but thinking about it. I feel like, though, I've got to say right now, you're not concerned with how they're really feeling and what they're thinking about cancer. You're not. You're switching your focus to yourself and manifesting your own happiness here. That's what you're doing. And I feel like this person, now they feel heartbroken because they've lost their chance with you. It took them way too long and they did way too much and now they've lost their chance. They're feeling that pressure, man. I'm telling you, they're feeling the pressure and they're realizing um, they were really crappy to you, you know? Yeah. You could have at one point been dealing with the King of Wands. There was some gossip here, I feel some gossip about you too that they may have engaged in somebody could have told them a bunch of fake crap about you cancer and um they believed that too yeah collaboration what a fool yeah they believed that too cancer they believed the gossip they could have even taken part in the gossip they collaborated which they feel really stupid for now so there could have been a fire sign, um, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy, maybe an Aries here that said some things about you to this person and they listened. I mean, there's a lot of things this person's guilty for a lot. They pretty much did everything they could to destroy this. Um, I don't think they wanted to do all of it, but they did. They did every single thing, and they know it. And they lay in bed with their head in their hands, crying, thinking, what do I do now? What do I do now? Right? That door of opportunity is closing. They, they really want to reach out as fast as they can. Um, this is a lot of action being taken towards you, Cancer. Um, but I'm really feeling like in the next couple of days, you are not in the mood. You are not in the mood, man. You want to be enthusiastically planning your future. That's really what I'm feeling like. You're, it's not that you're sad. You're just not in the mood to talk to anyone from your past right now, I feel. That's kind of the feeling that I'm getting. Because you're, you're doing dreamy things. You're researching new locations. You're dreaming up a new love. You're manifesting a lot here. And you need your space. You're on shutdown mode. Hermit energy, two of swords. Yeah. Yeah, that's shutdown mode. 
Yeah, and that was on the bottom of the deck. This person, they wanted to they want to regain control of this. They do not want you to get away. The thought of them losing you and and it's because of their own actions, okay? But the thought of losing you, I feel is too much. I feel like this person's going to take a risky move. Um, and they're going to try to get some kind of control, take the reins of their own life, come forward and try, look, come forward and try to have a victory with you. I'm not kidding. Some of you may listen to this person, right? Some of you may listen. Um, definitely when this person approaches you, Cancer, you're going to remember the storm they kicked up in your past. Okay, you're going to be holding the sword that they stabbed you in the back with, right? That's that tenth sword. That tenth sword right there. And you're going to be like, oh, did you come to get your sword back? No, I came to give you an apology. All I see is a fish in that cup. That's, that's like, like pretty much the, <laughs> that's pretty much how that is going to go. Yeah. And then you, you're going to move forward. You're still moving forward. And I feel like you're going to tell this person, thank you for the apology. I, I do sincerely hope that's the truth. But I feel like you're going to be moving forward solo here. Right now, in the next couple of days, I feel like it's not a good time for this person to approach. I think right now all you're doing is focusing on new. And now you're focusing on it so intently that that's truly what you want here, Cancer. You want something new. I see you guys moving forward. I see you not trusting this person's apology. Really. I don't think you trust this person coming forward here. They're going to try to do their best. But Cancer, I'm, I'm really feeling like you've risen above this. You have healed. Um, and, and anything that you don't trust, you're going to be walking away from, I think. You know, I, I feel like you'll appreciate the apology. You're going to be very well balanced. You're going to be using your intuition and discernment. And I feel like you're moving forward into your new, new. All the things that you're manifesting here. Yeah. Anyway, Cancers, listen, that's what I've got for this reading. I hope this helps. I hope it resonates with you guys. Um, and uh, if you like this video, please click that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Help me grow, right? Become a new Mooney. Yes. If you like the vibe and it's resonating with you. And until next time, Cancers, take care of you, my darlings. Know that I love you. And peace out.